So I looked this up, and I guess this is the only time Agur, son of Jekka, is mentioned in the Bible. Um, in Proverbs 25, it mentioned the men of Hezekiah um, gathered additional material for Proverbs. And I'm reading this out of the Enduring Word Commentary. Um, and then they added these words of Agur. We have no other mention of Agur, the son of Jekka, in the Bible. So, really interesting. Have you ever been in this place? I am weary and worn out. That's definitely me. That's my theme for January 2021. I've just been going through it. I feel like even reading this, just the pattern of how um, it is written, it just it doesn't even sound similar to what we've read prior. So again, reading from the Enduring Word because I needed a lot of help to kind of navigate this um, these verses. It was saying that this is his humble introduction here. Um, he's just being humble. You know, he's saying, I don't know. I'm not truly wise. You know, we don't not truly have understanding as humans without the knowledge of the Holy one. And he was talking about the son, right? The son of man, which is Jesus. And then during word is saying, you know, we're not too sure what kind of prophetic wisdom he had about the son of God. Do not add to his words or he will rebuke you and expose you as a liar. And that has happened, unfortunately, with today. The Bible has become uh, misconstrued with other, not necessarily interpretations, but people adding to it. We can't add or take away from the Bible. The word is the word and that is it, you know. Feed me just the food I need. That's the best place to be. Not in need, not in riches, but just having enough and God promises to give us what we need. Another reoccurring theme throughout Proverbs, respect for your parents. Do not curse your parents, your father and your mother. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yes, four that never say enough. The grave, the barren womb, the earth that is never satisfied with water and the fire which never says enough. This reminds me of there are six things the Lord hates, seven he detests. Remember that proverb? That's kind of what that word, that verbiage reminds me of. But, you know, the grave and the barren womb are both things that are lacking. Um, the earth that is never satisfied with water and the fire which never says enough. I had to look this up and the enduring word says, the earth seems to continually drink and absorb the water poured upon it and the fire will burn as long as there's fuel to burn. So these are all examples of, you know, it's never enough. Again, the same verbiage, three things are too wonderful for me, four I do not understand. And again, thank God for enduring word, you know, thank God for Bible commentaries that we can just quickly open up and, and read about the word. And actually the enduring word is saying, you know, it isn't fully clear what these things have in common. So it's kind of a mystery. <laughs> Another reoccurring theme of Proverbs is adultery. It warns us against adultery so many times. That same verbiage, you see it here again. I think it's interesting that it's talking about animals here. And of course, humans are so much wiser and we rule over the animals, right? Even according to the Bible. And so if these creatures of the earth have wisdom, then how much more wisdom do we have? That's kind of what I think of. Because we know God who is, who is wisdom. Again, I hate to be redundant, but it's true. <laughs> the same type of verbiage with the listing here. Anger, again, be careful of anger. Not being careful of getting angry. Well, yes, be careful to get angry, of course, but be careful of how you act when you are angry because it says that just as churning of milk produces butter, punching a nose produces blood, 
It's the same way stirring up anger produces strife. Something to be really careful of. If you struggle with anger, you need to learn how to manage it, whether it is counseling or what, because sometimes we just grew up in homes that are just more, um, have a lot more strife. You know, maybe that's just the background you've come from, but that's not where you have to stay. You don't have to live in that. You don't have to continue, um, you know, getting angry and reacting to every little thing in an, in an angry way. Don't stir up strife. So that's all I have for today. It was really interesting. I liked the verbiage. It was different, written a little bit differently. Let me know what you learn and what you, um, you know, have to add. I post a new Bible study video every single day for the month of January, 2021. But uh, normally I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I can't wait to study the Bible with you again. Bye.